Hello audience, this is Dennis John Seatsma, Dennis John Seatsma Productions, Homestead, Florida, USA. Today I'm in Lynn Haven, Florida, a bedroom community of Panama City. I'm working on a 2018 Honda CR-V, oh that looks like fun. Um, anyway, took it to the unnamed Honda dealer for services of trans transmission and coolant. I like to do those every year, whether they're needed or not, because I understand the importance of having a professional look at it and of the recommended service and especially fluid changes because machines are really dependent on good fluids and they can't tell you when the fluids are breaking down. Uh, usually it's done by mileage or years, but I like to do mine once a year for transmission and coolant. Anyway, while I was in there, they recommended brake service all around. Well, I had recently pulled the wheels off and inspected everything myself. So I took another look-see today, and this is uh, 2018 that I, I'm one owner on. And uh, I see from my measurements today on November 4th, 2023, at mileage of 61,072,000 miles, which is extraordinary number of miles with never doing a brake job on this vehicle since it's new. And I'm one owner, so I know the history. And I love the Honda um, smartphone app and uh, their their recommendations via IT and how when you have a service done at a Honda dealer, it auto populates. Hello, doggy. Aww, hey, hi. sweet puppy. He's interested. Hello, baby. I love dogs. Aww, good. Yeah, I'm a dog lover. <laughs> but dog. shooting a YouTube video right now. Anyway, um, they said I need brake pads. Well, I measured with my hot little hands and unscientifically, seven millimeters remaining on a, f brand new brake pads are 14 millimeters. I bought new brake pads and I bought the best I could buy online. So we're about halfway done. So I don't totally disagree with the recommendation to replace the brake pads at seven out of 14 millimeter, but that's about half done. And I think it's excessive. So. I contacted the service dealer and uh, they said, bring it back in. Also, they recommended uh, service on the brake fluid, which is extraordinary. They said the copper content is too high. I had that on another vehicle. And in both cases, I just paid to have that done. So either I'm paying for services that people aren't doing or they're trying to stick me with more service than needed. So anyway, I'm going to put this wheel back on and we'll check the other wheels and then we'll get back with the shop management. Um, a lot of new people working in shops now and uh, I don't disagree that the thing needs a brake job all the way around. Maybe in a year or two, but not now. Uh, you know, it's just not necessary uh, for safe operation of the vehicle and I've operated I've managed fleets of vehicles over the years, and whenever people say it needs service, I say, show me, and save the parts. So, I may end up doing this myself, or not, but I'm going to finish the inspection, the other three, and uh, I'm at the five-minute mark in this video. But people hate doing stuff like this themselves, because, oh, let's leave it to the shop. The shop knows best. Yeah, well... Sometimes the shops rip you off, and I'm on so many social media groups that they say, take it to the professional, and I do use shops, but especially when something's still under factory warranty like this vehicle should be. I bought the extended warranty. Any new vehicle I buy, I always buy the 200,000-mile, 20-year warranty on the drivetrain because I can finance it at the time of purchase and it's normally cheaper at the time of purchase when the vehicle's brand new because most, pe most people trade. And I tend to keep 
all my vehicles and maintain them myself like this 2007 Honda Civic. And I'm searching desperately all over Florida and the southeast for a body shop to do the scratch on this bumper and do a respray. But uh, they don't want five grand. They're not so crazy. Now five grand, give me a break. Give me a blankety, blankety, blank, blank break. He's highway robbery. They want you to sell it for $500 and buy a new one. That's our world today. Anyway, I'm too, too Scottish, I guess, to, to waste money like that. That could be in the bank earning interest or being invested maybe in a new vehicle one day when I have enough shackles put together. And I love new vehicles, by the way, I, but I just am too Scottish to buy a new one when I don't need to. And you could get a half a million miles out of one of these Honda Civics easily if it's well maintained and you do the work yourself and you use quality parts like I do. Anyway, I'm at six minutes now. So audience, thank you for watching Dennis Seatsma, Dennis John Seatsma Production USA. Do-it-yourself work can result in death or injury, so do at your own risk. And always follow safety protocols and procedures. In this case, I have a jack stand, and I have uh, a brand new hydraulic jack rated for three tons. And uh, I use gloves and eye protection when working with power tools. And I like buying power tools because I like using good tools. I love buying tools from online different companies or OTC tools. Uh, love Snap-on when I can afford them. And, uh, oh, geez, so many tool companies now make really good tools. Go to Harbor Freight for some things and Northern for others. But, audience, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up. If you like anything in this video, please do subscribe.